Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to graph quadratics in intercept form. When graphing quadratics, intercept form looks like this. y equals a times x minus p times x minus q. Okay? And so let's look at an example. Let's say we have y equals um, a times x plus 3 times x minus 1. Well, in this case, p is going to be negative 3, and q is going to be 1, right? Because it's minus 1, so it's going to be 1. Now, we want to find the axis of symmetry, AOS. We're going to find that by the axis of symmetry, right, is going to be a line x, vertical line, equals p plus q over 2. So that's going to be negative 3 plus 1 over 2, right? So that's going to be um, negative 2, right? Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 over 2. So that's going to be negative 1. So now that we have our axis of symmetry, we can plot the point. So on a graph here, we have negative 1, right? So this is going to be our axis of symmetry which means this is where the quadratic can be reflected across. Now, we plug in the point. If x is going to be negative 1, we can plug it back in here and see what it is. In this case, if x is negative 1, um, right, let's just plug it in here. This is going to be um, 2, and um, this is all going to be um, uh, what negative 1 plus negative 1 is again negative 2, right? So we have negative 2 times negative 2 times 2, we're going to get negative 8, which is going to be down here. So the point is negative 1, 8, which is down here. This is our axis of symmetry. We also know we have negative 3, right? For that, that was our p. And we have 1, which was our q. So those are our other two points. And from that, we have our quadratic. Right? So here, we use the slope-intercept form right, to find the quadratic. Make sure you find the axis of symmetry and you know your P and your Q to find that. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with me today.